Comrade Philip Obama. On behalf of those of us who claim to understand a bit better about the workings of the world and the nations, we, the Anwak intellectuals and notables, would want to welcome you all, freedom fighters, to this land of Chui. Where you stand now is the cradle of the Anwak tribe. Brother Chairman, sir, what you have done in liberating Puchala today with your young men and women is a gift that history, hopefully, will bestow upon these people you have referred to, and very rightly so, as oppressed. I hope, with all God's grace, that we will live to tell the story of the struggle. If today they hear in Khartoum that Philip is now a full-fledged member of the SPLA, SPLM, SPLA, it shouldn't be surprising because for the last two years I have been resisting any idea of going back to Khartoum. The chiefs here and their subjects know very well that for the last two years I've been going from one court to the other, and trying to mobilize them to do something for themselves. It reminds one of a very significant date in the history of the Anwar tribe, their struggle against foreign domination. In 1912, there was a force sent by the then British Expeditionary Force. That was two years before he was born, by the way before the present king was born. In exactly March, when the two forces met in a place called Adit, the father of this man here near us defeated the then British adventure when at a place called Adit. So it is not surprising that your victory over the forces of oppression and deprivation was also in March. Uh, but it so happened in 1994. <laughs> to me, brother chairman, you have got in us what we call Jai in Anwax. Jai are the people who go with the Nyea or with the king side by side telling him what to do. We are your advisors here and hopefully we'll prove our worth and our commitment to the cause for which those who have died did not sacrifice in vain. Yes. By saying that, let our presence in the raising of this new flag for our new Sudan be our Bible over which we have sworn our commitment to the movement and to all that it stands for. <laughs> Brother Chairman, we are at your service. We are at the service of the movement. But most of all, we are at the service of our people. Let our vision continue to guide our main road. There, sir, you will elaborate when you address your public.